what are the cultural differences and um, what about uh, the generational differences where uh, millennials uh, no longer find films that uh, people of my generation, um, the Revolutionary War generation, um, uh, found, found funny. Uh, well, in, in terms of cultural differences, there are cultural differences. Um, for instance, when uh, Phil Rosenthal was trying to adapt Everybody Loves Raymond for Russia, uh, in America, uh, Ray Romano, who plays Raymond, is, is this kind of uh, schlubby guy. He's, you know, he's, not, he's not that bright, uh, he's not that uh, manly. Um, he's a little bit henpecked. He's certainly henpecked by his mother, but in Russia, they had a hard time with that because, uh, as they told Phil Rosenthal, no, people expect uh, the man to be manly and, and virile, and, and so <laughs> Phil was saying, well, that's not very funny from his point of view. So there are cultural differences, but more important than the differences are the similarities. As I go, as I go, go around the world, what is apparent to me more than anything else is how alike people are. Um, uh, one of my first trips was to Singapore and I thought, oh my, man, I, I, I use all these clips from American movies and, and TV shows. Um, how are they going to relate at all to what I'm talking about? But uh, as I found out, it's not only that they were familiar with um, American shows, they were familiar with husbands and wives and kids uh, and boyfriends and girlfriends. I mean, humans are not that different all around the world. W before I went to Singapore, I said, send me some of your comic films so I, I know where you're coming from and I, I know um, what you've already found funny. And they sent me this film called I Know Stupid in which these three middle schoolers, like 12 or 13 year old, they're all dealing with trying to succeed in school and the expectations of their parents. And I'm thinking, this is not that far from what I'm used to, from, from my own experiences. So the more I see uh, people from around the world, the more I see how similar people are around the world. And the reason I know that, um, that the similarities are stronger than the differences is the success of Pixar movies. I mean, Pixar movies, are, are, those are a bunch of people who live in Northern California um, or they live in Southern California. Uh, they, they're part of the American experience and those movies reflect whether it's about fish or, or superheroes or toys, they, they reflect the American experience, but they're, universe, they're universal. People around the world love them. And they love them not because they go, boy, those Americans are so strange with their toys. They, they love them because they tell universal truths. Now, the one thing that I am noticing is that uh, there is a generational difference. I, I don't know that the comedies are no longer funny, but different generations find different comedies funny or less funny. I'm, um, my, one of my favorite comedies was, uh, is Groundhog Day. And, uh, and it was with some, some no small sense of sadness that a millennial um, recently said to me, I just watched Groundhog Day. I didn't find it funny at all. And I went, oh my God. Um, so maybe there is, a, there is a difference, but I think more emphasis or uh, comedies uh, have a higher burden than other movies. I mean, if you see a drama, whether it's from the 40s or the 70s or, or yesterday, uh, everybody approaches drama in their own individual way. They, they look at the characters, they look at the story. Um, they don't all expect, well, I didn't cry at that drama, so it was no good. But they look at comedies and they say, boy, if it doesn't make me laugh, it's not a, it's not a good comedy. And so when I talk to uh, this millennial uh, about Groundhog Day, I said, didn't you care about it? Yeah, I liked it. It just didn't make me laugh. And so I think, I think sometimes uh, uh, rhythms change. I think uh, our, uh, the, our generation uh, the generation that was around when the dinosaurs were roaming the earth, obviously. Um, uh, the rhythms were slower, the pace was slower uh, because of 
MTV, because of uh, television, because of YouTube. Um, those rhythms are, are, are much quicker now. People, you know, uh, people are used to seeing short bursts of information on small screens. So maybe that's a difference. But I certainly hope that um, as these millennials grow up, they will again appreciate classic movies, whether they're dramas or comedies.